Coffee Talk with Smiley. Episode 3, Gaming with Soul. How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to Coffee Talk with Smiley. All you gaming nerds, your anime weebs. We are on episode 3 today, and we have back Quantum Soul. What's up, man? How you doing? Yo, 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 yo. What is up? What is What's up? up? <laughs> We're going to go into a, a couple of little talks today on this episode. We're going to kind of go over the 2024 Xbox um, partner thing that they showcased. It's a partner, yeah, it's a partner showcase, which they usually, it's like a like a state of play for your PlayStation or your Nintendo Direct and all that stuff. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah. But it's for Xbox. Yeah, I can't wait for the one that's going to come out for like the different things like, you know, since I'm getting more bigger on the Switch now, too, it's like, you know, I want to actually kind of look into some of the uh, stuff that they have going on for the Switch. Some game releases that's coming we just out. just had a direct not too long ago. I know, so. yeah. <laughs> just like I like to, like, keep informed and all that, too. Like, you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, uh, we're going to go into some talks with that coming up here real shortly. Um, we're going to kind of go over some things that we've been kind of doing along, uh, like, outside of this, you know. And just uh, like we'll, a little talk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just some fun stuff and all that. We hope that you guys are enjoying the uh, the talks and stuff too. Uh, we did episode two. I actually got sick, man. Can you believe it, man? I got freaking sick with all this other crap, and uh, we were actually a little late posting episode two. But episode three will still go as regular release and all that. So we're gonna try to keep a regular updated thing every single week. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, hey, how you doing? If you're listening or watching on Spotify, hi, how are you doing? It's on both platforms, okay? So on YouTube, we have it where anyone that is a member that is actually joined in right here on, uh, on the YouTube channel, you guys get the whole episodes a whole 24 hours early. Super cool, super chill. Because you guys support, well, you get did. to have yeah <laughs> a whole 24 hours in advance. Every Friday, though, it will be released to the public on YouTube and on Spotify. So thank you guys for your support. All the people that's out there supporting in advance, thank you guys so much for that. And, uh, you know, all the things that you do. And you get rewarded for it, too. So I think that's really, really cool for those that are actually contributing in or just wanting to become fans yeah. and just enjoying the talks that we're having. And maybe potentially... I want to try to put this on the Apple Podcast, actually, because I love listening to more on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I don't know. Um, I listen to so much um, podcasts and everything. And I just go, I switch over from like Spotify to Apple recently mm -hmm. in the past like year or so. I think it's just more clean on there. It does just move more specifically. I think it's like the same process going through Spotify, actually. So, yeah. Whoa. Okay. There was a lag on Discord. So I'm just oh. like, <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was my freeze frame. I was like, <laughs> oh, sharing my screen so you can like see the uh, the progress and stuff too. You can see like the camera switching and all that too. So it's <laughs> just a lag in Discord. So <laughs> yeah, if it gets too distracting, I can uh, I can stop sharing screen and stuff. No, you're good. It was just like a little weird, little funny moments. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it happens though. You know, they got some new updates on uh, Discord now too. They've been having like a. I haven't really got to sit down and read all the Discord like updates and stuff, but they've been having some pretty cool ones. Cool, cool ones. And I don't pay attention because I don't have Nitro anymore. So. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I know you did that when you did like the anime uh, showcases, like when you were, uh, you know, doing the anime stuff with your lads and all that. Yeah, but that was back before her. So. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those times. But yeah. yeah. Um. Anything? Okay. We're going to try to start doing the whole, like, weekly thing of, like, what all we've been doing a little bit, not besides work. We're yeah. not going to mention anything about work. Just a little bit, like, what we did, like, on the side or just relaxing or something like that. We can say whatever we liked on that one. So yeah. what did you what did you do outside of work, man? What did you so do outside of work this week? Outside of work, I actually got into a, a few games, actually. it's uh There's this really, really fun game that I've been playing on the Switch. Uh, goodness, I'm gonna have to look up the name of this freaking game because I can't remember the name of it. It's a little racing game, and it's kind of it brings back those uh the retro vibes, you know, like retro arcade games. Uh, this one's called the F Zero Ninety Nine. I'll have to show it to you, man. It's uh, you you're know that one? Little, yeah, F Zero's been an old classic on like yeah. the the NES and everything, and they yeah. made a battle royale. Sadly, uh -huh. it's not gonna be there for too much long because Nintendo has this thing mm -hmm. where like they like keep it on there for a while, like. 
Tetris was really good. I actually had fun with that one, but I Tetris, think they yeah. shut down, I think they shut down the servers on that one. So yeah, uh, they Tetris had a was... Super Mario one, which mm -hmm. that one only lasted mm -hmm. for about three months or something like that. So it wasn't like it wasn't really that big, honestly. But yeah, um, I mean, something fun. But yeah, it's a fun little like cheap thing. It's completely free. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> only on Switch, though. Only, only on, on Switch, Switch man. I love the deals that they have too. Now that I've officially pretty much switched over to being like you know a switch player and all that too i have had the switch light for the longest but i didn't have like online i didn't i wasn't able to like dock it and like be able to stream it for instance so been kind of chilling on it you know i do have an xbox as well you know i advertise it and everything um but i've been mainly just pc gaming you know me and uh, ghost talked about this on the last previous episode uh i do a lot of pc gaming but i want to actually branch out and do just like other things like we you know here in a little bit when we go into like the xbox stuff i'll go more into that but like for instance like switch you know like i love the, the, the deals that they have on it um i was telling that to ghost and he's like i don't know if i can uh switch over to, to doing switch it's like there's just so much on the other stuff and i'm like man I, th I think you would like it honestly you know it's just they got a lot of cool deals and yeah <sighs> like okay <sighs> yes there's a lot more like if you he, he's more like graphical and everything like that yes the switch is actually pretty low spec and everything currently at the moment not too more for the switch too but yeah um it's just more they have a lot more couch co-op games and that's why i like mm -hmm. nintendo they're all mm -hmm. like there's family oriented couch co-op like there's actually some games that actually pour over to the switch and everything like that but like i don't know it has to be like a specific on the audience for nintendo for mm -hmm. that one mm -hmm. um i'm actually thinking about purchasing persona 5 um royale on the switch um because it has been ported over there it looks really good and i kind of want to do that no of course i could have did it on steam and everything but yeah <laughs> the portability it's just the portability and the tv thing it's just like go on the go that's why i do love the switch about that one it just it has enough power to actually do it if it runs really well it actually runs then it should be great for you like even skyrim sometimes i'll i don't think any of the fallout games are in there but um yeah. big triple a titles like that they actually run pretty fine now sometimes the graphics ones are not really the greatest though but i i don't know it's it, it works it really does work so like yeah. but like if you're like stick to like xbox and playstation you don't have to go to the switch you really yeah. don't have to unless you like want like a specific game on that one but mm -hmm. they're they're cheap they're cheap yeah. Switch, oh yeah um the switch consoles and everything are like cheap right now until the switch 2 comes out which i will definitely be pre-ordering once that thing actually does come out so. man <laughs> i no, i am getting on the train on that one i really want to i so want bad. to i want to so bad too i'm like man like because i've been playing a lot of dreamlight valley you know and there are little things on it like you know with a big triple a game that you know you're gonna have your bugs your little glitches here and there um for me and i think it's just because of the one that i have i have the uh, you know the, the i don't have like the, the the top of the line switches like what you guys have or whatever uh with like the 2.0 or whatever i, I, I don't have that. that one i still get the base model so. yeah that's what i have too like the base model but it still runs good there's like a little bit of like a uh, a frame drop every now and then but it's not too much where it's like man this is not playable oh my goodness this is horrible <laughs> kind of well, thing but thing. it's like that's always yeah. on the switch so the right. only thing they kind of the only thing they really upgraded was probably like the mobility like only the battery mm -hmm. and the screen that's literally it yeah the graphics and everything is literally all the same so like you don't you... have to worry about any about that at all so yeah i bet you it's gonna be changed when the two comes out i bet you it's gonna make a game changer <sighs> I feel I'm so saying. so nintendo actually did point out that like they're not gonna like show anything about it or like it's not gonna be released till early next year but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe around christmas time though or right before Christmas, they might actually like release it, and then you could do pre-orders because like yeah. this is gonna be a big, huge thing, and they had to do so much orders and everything like that. So even some of like the developers already have like the Switch Two in their hands, just like the developing kit. So oh yeah, yeah, they won't tell us n not even a no, single I'm... dime what it's gonna be about. It's <laughs> like I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so. I am too. I am like I, I feel like you know if they want to keep it on the down low, I feel like something big's about to happen, and they don't want people to like be in on it so they can try to like be better at it you know i feel like there's gonna be a lot of cool things that you're gonna mm -hmm. be able to do on this and I i'm excited for it too and, and like i said like it's like the com the convenience for me you know it's like 
I've always kind of had an interest with this with uh, Switch being that you know you can play on the go and you can like dock it you know you're playing on the TV in my case I'm on the uh, the the computer here I can um, play it like that and say if I have to go somewhere I can bring it with me on the go like I think it's really good and of course you can do cloud storage things so you can switch over if you want to play it specifically on like PC like you, you can do that with Dreamlight you can like go play and have an account thing synced or linked whatever you play it on the PC and you can play it on the Nintendo Switch too. So I'm like, I love the compatibility of it. Well, okay, let me explain that one. Okay, that's only because it's only on the Dream Valley servers. Yeah, the Dream Valley, now, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. like you can't switch from like a Switch to like Steam or anything like that. You mm -hmm. cannot save your Switch files or mm -hmm. anything like that. Just to make that clear, unless it's like like on the company's server files, not like Steam or Nintendo's. No, nah, yeah. Like for your case, it's like, I think, who is who's doing it? EA? For Dreamlight? Um, yeah, who, I who's doing, who's doing Dream Valley? <laughs> I don't Disney. even know. I would have to look it up. Uh, um, but yeah, in case, we'll, we'll have it right down here. Yeah. Yeah, in any case, it's their servers. It's like um, also yeah. like Fortnite. Epic Games has that server. You can switch out from like Steam to like the Switch or any other console you got. Right. But yeah, for like, oh, it's only for those specific games though. Like, let's say like Skyrim or something like that you need to have like had to take two separate copies and everything like that so but yeah. you cannot switch like your your data or anything like that so mm -hmm. please bear that in mind not other cancels do that either so yeah all right <laughs> anything else anything anything else you did the past week uh so i've been really getting into it and i did stream this a little bit on you know on youtube and all that there's this awesome really fun fun game it's called uh um it's like super animal royale um, oh, stupid animal battle royale, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. Ah, if I could do it's this thing. It's like a 2D plane uh, battle royale where you play as little animals, but of course with guns. So. Yeah, super <laughs> animal royale. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a while. It's freaking for a while. good. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I wanted to jump onto it. And even, uh, even Purple was like, you know, he loves that game. And so um, I was like kind of streaming it a little bit, you know. And uh, just to show it to the people that maybe haven't got to see it and everything. And I'm like, it was really good. And I got it for like a dollar. It was on the Great Deal. Great Deals thing. I got it for like a dollar. It was like pretty nice. Um, I also thought that was for free, so. It, it might have been. I don't know. No, no I, think the, I think the one that I got for a dollar was like, uh, or a few dollars, was Enter the Gungeon. That was another yeah, that, fun one. That's a few dollars, yeah. So. Yeah. I think, yeah, the Animal Rail was free. But yeah, Enter the Gungeon was the one that yeah, I, I got that. But like, Enter the Gungeon's really fun. Um... I can get through the first boss, but it's always the second one, man. On um, like the second, like, like tier. It's enemies. just bad RNG, man. I know. <laughs> it's just always RNG. I gotta, I gotta play that. I gotta stream it now and everything so people can see it. But I mean, I've been getting into more games like that, just kind of like seeing the the top deals of the day and all that, you know, um, that they have. I check with the news to see what kind of things mm -hmm. they have. Um, um, but yeah, you know, just kind of just keeping in the loop there with all the the gaming stuff. Um, because I know we did have some people that say they want to hear more like gaming stuff entertainment things You know, uh, we do have anime things that we go into as well The first episode was really really big into anime for anyone that is interested in that too I know uh, you we were talking before the uh, podcast that you had like a uh, an anime that you wanted to kind of go into You can jump into that if you want So for the past week and it's still an ongoing show because I think it only has like three episodes for season two I have been on a binge for this one show and it's like it's one of those things where like it kind of gets serious but like you can still like shut off your brain honestly mm -hmm. it's more of like a i guess it can be for more of a male and female kind of show but it's called um let me pull it up real quick uh mash all magic and muscles so i explained mm -hmm. this to a friend back in michigan um think of it like and actually it had some like um comparisons like think of harry potter mm -hmm. but uh, but the main character doesn't learn magic and he's just ridiculously strong. <laughs> like, like you see like muscles and everything like that. Like he yeah. beats, he beats magic with a uh, muscle. So, wow. That almost, it's, it's, it's a fun little show. And yeah. I, I don't know, like the theme song, like both of the theme songs of the opening is like, got me intrigued on it. I was like, yeah. dang. And it got really popular actually. So like, I'm not the only one. So. Yeah. yeah, it's called Mashal uh, Magic and Muscles. Nice. Nice. I was going to look at that one now. Yeah. Cause like, um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> I was just going to say, because the, the, the strength 
portion that you were talking about, it made me think of the one anime that Ghost showed me way back. Suppose a kid from the last uh, Dungeon Boonies, yeah, it goes to a starter town. I forget the name of it. It's I, a I long it. title. I, I don't like it. <laughs> Like, I think it's the voice acting is just, uh, like, what kills me the most. Um, yeah. Because it sounds so, so young. I'm like, uh... Yeah. No, I can't. He's, like, super strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just made me think of it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Um, Another one I've been sort of started watching, and this one got very, very popular. Okay, so there's a thing, if people don't really know. There's a website called My Anime List, and mm -hmm. it will show you like the upcoming like either anime is coming up like in the next like year or two, or po potential in the works, mm -hmm. or like the ranking, or like you can put your own ranking of like your own profile, like what ranking of like you want to give like the show like an eight out of ten or like a three out of ten or something like that. Yeah. It's a big huge list for like it's a big huge website for like anime lovers like myself. I I don't have an account on there. I really should though, but like um. But yeah, it's a good thing. And um, this one sh show called Frey Freyan Beyond Journey's End apparently is like the top right now. It literally beat the long lasting one, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is Goat Show. It is literally the Goat Show. Wow. I, it, it's it's really good. Um, but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I'm talking about. Yeah. Freyan, uh, I don't know why it got so popular. It's okay, though. Like, it's chilling actually for the first couple of episodes though but like it's more like just a chilling thing like there's no like there is some like big fight scenes and everything like that but it's not like as much as like full metal alchemist brotherhood or anything like oh, that yeah. so like i'm i was very confused so, like i gave it a shot i kind of like it so far but like i actually like mashal better in my opinion so oh yeah hey yo hey yo just because there's just more to the action this one's just more chilling no i do love my chilling animes like laid back camp if mm. you have not watched like just chillful like kind of show like you like you want to go outside and actually do camping yeah this is probably like the best anime to watch that so man yeah I I it's called laid back camp yeah laid back camp mm-hmm it actually teaches you about camping as well. So nice. We're gonna have to do that now. You, me, and Chad will have to go and, uh, you know, Chad exploring nature. He's he's on the Dude, YouTube channel. Dude, he's been wanting to for a while. <laughs> like, okay, him, but also mostly Cole. So Cole Train, yeah, yeah. Cole Train. He's been wanting to for a while. I think he's still in rehab right now. I think he's still trying to heal up from his um latest injury, but he's been doing a little bit more better. So yeah, yeah. And also, I was gonna mention this too, guys. Before I forget. We are going to be doing some live streams on this as well. So, like, if you guys are enjoying the content that we're having here when we're having the episodes, whether it be on Spotify, YouTube, wherever you watch or listen from, we're going to be having a live stream at this date, okay? So, be watching for one of the Saturdays that's coming up here. We're going to actually go live on YouTube, okay? We're going to aim to go live at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. All right, so we're going to um, go live and just kind of, you know, anyone that's watching the actual, like, or listening to, like, the podcast and stuff, if you guys have any kind of questions or any kind of things that you want to add into for possible upcoming episodes, you know, you can let us know, and we can have our own Q&A talks right there live if you guys want to check it out there. I figured, you know, I'll, I'll throw that in there because I know we've had some people really enjoying the, uh, you know, the podcast style stuff, so I was like, you know, we're going to actually have a okay. live stream of this, too. Let me put my two cents on this one, because I actually just thought about this one. That should be a good idea, but... Okay, let me start this. <laughs> For the first hour of it, it's just going to be us two. Yeah. And then right after we're done, like... Because that would be, like, the whole episode once, like, you can, like, post it and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, um, like keep it... After they, we, like, cut through... Like, cut that episode for the podcast, then we can, like still keep streaming and then we can add, actually ask question but that doesn't go on to the podcast itself so yeah i was just gonna make it exclusive just like live stream and like we could probably take little bits and pieces and put it into something but i mean yeah we could tr try doing something like that too like if we're like that big or something like that i could see that doing <laughs> it though but like um like it's just a small little thing right now so like um i would say like just go like we're doing right now do not reach chat uh, let them, like, do whatever they want on it, and then, like, after we're, like, done with that episode, we'll keep going on with the stream, but, like, cut the podcast off, so. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll work we can, something like, out. Maybe, 
like answer like some questions on the next podcast actually so yeah yeah but yeah if you guys want to come check out when we actually do a live stream like this we're gonna do it on this date down below there um on a, on a saturday and we will like i'll reach out and i'll let you guys know as well on discord and you know on youtube and all that too so if you guys are interested in that i think that'd be super fun so did you have any other things that you wanted to kind of go into before we go into one of the big topics here uh what else have i been doing besides work and the anime which i've been watching mostly anime during like my lunch break but um i got back into my final fans final fantasy 14 just because like I oh nice the, i missed the grind though but like um they had a certain event, which apparently they had like every now and then. It was for a collaboration with their old other game, Final Fantasy XV. Like you can grind, actually get the clothing of Noctis, the prince. The prince. Oh, nice. Noctis. Yeah. But also get his car too. But like that's a big, huge grind for that one. I'm probably not gonna get it. I think it's already over by now. So like I won't oh, be able yeah. to get his car. But I'm hoping when it comes back, I'll definitely get that car. I want that car. Get the car. Hey <laughs> yo. Uh, it's a nice car. You can actually fly with it. So like I want. Oh nice. It. Um, yeah. Ghost should probably know what I'm talking about if we actually do see him again. So, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, uh, yeah. I'm playing well, I've been playing like Overwatch 2 competitive again. I'm getting back in my ground on that one. So, yeah. um, it's probably like my top multiplayer game currently oh. right now. So, like online currently, like multiplayer, yeah, not like yeah. Call of Duty. Get that out of the way. Overwatch is the <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> So, don't ever ask Quantum I, Soul about Call of Duty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's like, get I the can aim. I can aim, and I can have a pink gun. <laughs> oh shoot! He did a call out. <laughs> just, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say who it is though. But like, I can shoot. She knows. Have who a pink gun. <laughs> she knows who we're talking about. <laughs> oh, she it's knows. all good. It's all good. Oh no! <laughs> get that out of that. Was pretty good. That was pretty I good. don't know why I said that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting it. It just came out of my butt. That was okay. funny. Yeah, so, for me. It, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, like, for me, for gaming wise, you know, like, um, I haven't done a lot of more competitive stuff. I have played a little bit of Valorant. I got back into it a little while ago, but then it's kind of been just kind of on the chill right now. I've just been more just uh, PVE games, RPG, you know, um, just like, I don't know, just something that feels rewarding to me, you know, and so sometimes like competitive games really grind me sometimes and i mean that in like a bad way but like you know yeah you put into the grind of it there's just games that i like to just sit back and just like you know turn off my brain and have a good time you know and but there are times where i really want to get into like the competitiveness of it you know and when i'm streaming yeah. my games you know whatever it may be i want it to be like for the viewer that's watching for them to have a good time you know i want them to have a good experience and so when i do games like dreamlight you know it may not be everyone's favorite thing you know that's why I'm not going to just specifically just play this all the time. I want to try other fun games that people will get into and enjoy. Um, but for me, it's like, you know, I want to play games that is just like rewarding, has a good story, fun, uh, just stuff that, you know, you don't have to really do too much effort into it, you know. And when I play Dreamlight, you know, it's more of a fun, just like I'm a big Disney person, you know, so it was uh, it's just something that like when I'm like doing like farming, for instance, you know, it's just something that. It's relaxing in a way, you know, you fish, you do all these other things. Same thing with like Animal Crossing. Just other games that's kind of like makes you feel rewarded for doing the stuff that you're doing. I, I've been getting more into those games recently. And um, apparently, you know, like the other, like the Battle Royale one, the Animal, Super Animal Royale. That's just like something fun. Like if I want to go competitive, I'll do it something like that. You know, it's something that's not like, oh my goodness, you know. It's terrible if you lose, but it's more of like a fun thing. And like if you lose, it's not gonna be like, oh yeah, you know. It's more of just like, um, I don't know. It's just cute little animals fighting each other off. It's just something that's, <laughs> it's it's fun. It's cute, you know. I like those kind of games. But I've been wanting to get into one game that I haven't played in a while, and that would be uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I've been wanting to get back into that for some time now. What is it now? Hogwarts Legacy. I need to get back to the, okay uh there's actually some story about that well okay mm -hmm. for the second one not the first one mm -hmm. the second one there's actually some news about that um because uh warner brothers actually made uh, the first hogwarts legacy mm -hmm. um and now they're they're changing up some stuff so like all the games they've been making 
uh has mostly been like single player stuff which has actually been pretty good but sometimes some of them are been like a flop in a way except Ooh. for hogwarts legacy that's actually been like their biggest one right now yeah yeah um so their next upcoming games i think starting next year i can't remember uh they're gonna go to like live service kind of games which like that ruins the whole vibe because like mm -hmm. hogwarts legacy 2 like i feel like it's more solely on like a single player game i don't want like no micro transactions or anything like that i mm -hmm. think it's fine the way it is like just make the second one like its own thing ah, i don't know what they're doing but like yeah the second hogwarts legacy game is going to be a live service hopefully not paid every month subscription kind of game because i hate I'm kind of tired of those games. I want a good single mm -hmm. player game. And Hogwarts yeah. Legacy was like a really good example. Like they did really good on this one. So yeah, hey, I actually so liked mad. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad. I need to yeah. beat it though, but I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, it's like don't miss something, something like that. I, I know they went through their whole thing with Star Wars, you know, Battlefront, and that was a that was a big one. That was like I don't know why personally why they decided to go that route with it you know because it's like it, it, star wars is so good in its own and i really hope they don't do that with hogwarts legacy man because wait wait really wait like... wait did they do that with um didn't want to is what am others or is it ea that's making um jedi survivor mm -hmm. that's a good question i want to say Who it's made EA. that one jedi survivor oh. I I'm want to say it's EA, this. but um, you I'm can bad checking this. Hold on, <laughs> like just just keep talking. Uh, yeah, just keep talking. Good, I'll look this up real quick. But yeah, basically, like with Hogwarts Legacy, man, like I I don't know, like if they try doing something where it's like pay to play type thing, I'm like not everybody. Like I get like you want to make your money, you want to try to do the thing, but make it where it's like you work for the stuff that you want to have. Because like here's an example. Okay, so. And I go, I, had, I talk a lot about Dreamlight, about Dreamlight Valley. But the reason why they do this is like, yeah, you can pay to get cosmetic stuff, but you can also um, just play the game to get stuff too. Because every day that you log in, you'll find these blue little chests that will give you 50 Moonstone. Moonstone is the in-game, well, not really in-game currency, but it's currency that you can spend money and you can get, you know, to buy cosmetic stuff. So instead of like, you know paying to get like some big stuff like yeah you can do that but you can also work for it too kind of like genjin in a way too you can work for the stuff or you can just pay for it i want to like i want people to give you the option for that and it's like it don't make it like super stinking hard like make it something where it's like a reachable goal because that makes it fun to achieve and it's like you know if you're running out of time and you you know you're trying to beat the thing and if you just can't put as much time into the game then okay if you want to spend like you know a little bit of money here and there that's completely up to the to the player's experience but i should i feel like they should make it where it's like an optional thing where they put more into rewarding the people for playing you know that's my thing that's so awful. i think it's fine for possibly battlefront to do all this stuff because i feel like it's like one of those kind of games yeah it's like a big huge, like a massive multiplayer thing you can do micro decision i think that's fine would you mm -hmm. do like single player games? Because I'm thinking they might do it in the next like Star Wars Jedi, like whatever it is. Like, because mm -hmm. the last one was Jedi Survivor. Mm -hmm. If they make it like a live subscriber, live subscribe thing, like I don't know how they're gonna do that for a single player game. Yeah, um, <laughs> everybody's gonna be pissed because apparently yeah. Hogwarts gonna be like that, and I'm gonna be confused but very pissed off. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why they would do that for a single player. Like, I, 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 I can see too. Like you said, multiplayer playing online you want to show the stuff off you want to do this and that you want to get this and that to play with other players to fight or whatever but if it's like single player i'm like that should be more of like unless know. they're not going to do that for the single player i'm not too yeah. sure but like i, I know, know there's the made a big statement they're mostly just going to be looking like working on like um live service games so right um which I'm hoping, but yeah, I looked it up. Um, yeah, Jedi Survivor is made by EA. So EA. That's what I was thinking, but I was like, just to be sure. <laughs> but you like, know, dang. I'm really hoping that, like, yeah, they they come through with it because Hogwarts Legacy was a good one. I've heard some rumors here and there, YouTube videos, people talking about it. You know, of like, what's gonna be on the thing for the next one? You know, whoa. Wait, <laughs> Wait is EA? Wait, is EA like bought out by Warner Brothers? Wait, hold on. You can check oh, that. Wait, everything. I don't know if they've been uh, bought out, but yeah. 
I can't remember, but whatever. <laughs> um, so when we need chat and be like, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, don't worry, well, don't worry about that one. Um, yeah. But anyways, let's go into the Xbox presentation. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Warming up the Xbox presentation with the uh, previous talk there that we've been having. Uh, you guys can tune in and give your say for whatever we're kind of going into, you know. Um, but yes, to go into the game review there um a couple games stood out to me that i really liked you know um the one was uh, uh creatures of eve ava that one looked really cool have you, have you did you get to see that one by any chance which one was that one now creatures of e ava i keep on wanting to say eva <laughs> ava i think i saw the title but i can't remember if it was uh what how long like how far is that into the video it's probably about midway give or take is it you know? midway? Because I kind of skimmed through it a little bit, and <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. Like, okay, most of the... I like that Xbox is actually posting out, like, good games like this now, because there's actually quite a lot of games that, like, people might actually get interested in. Mm -hmm. um, now, nah, it's not for, like, a specific, like, big title or anything like that. This is a bunch of, like, other indie companies they actually bought out, which I'm glad Xbox is finally showing some games. Yeah, because they've been they've been lackluster. They've been a lot more lackluster of like their own like games, mm -hmm. uh, which I I've heard they're kind of like pushing that off now. I'm not too sure what their whole plan is going on anymore. But if you like more of the realistic kind of style kind of games, this whole presentation is probably much for you. Now, if it's mm -hmm. like if you're like to anime or anything like that, that kind of like cartoony kind of style, or just cartoons in general. Uh, don't watch this just don't watch this so because it's not it's none of that i would say one of the games and i think it's like the first game they showed it is made by bandai we talked about this before the yeah. podcast but like um it's made by bandai namco which is usually makes like anime games and like that this is a completely different game they're making it's like what are you guys doing yeah like where's, where's my anime weeboos man i, I want some games <laughs> man i'm sick yeah I'm just joking, but like, uh, I was just like, it caught me off guard. Yeah. That's all it, did. it just literally caught me off guard. You also said that that company made the uh, Demon Slayer, um, the Eno Comic Chronicles, too, right? It's the same yeah. company. It's the same company. Um, yeah, it's just like Bandai Namco, um, Atlas, mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. games. Some of those companies are usually the ones you see, like, all like the anime style kind of games. Mm -hmm. Like your Persona games, that's all Atlas. Yeah. Um, Anything that's like the Naruto Shippuden series, the Demon Slayer, the latest, which sad Jujutsu Kaisen game. Um, <laughs> it's over it, with. It, <laughs> it, it, it got barely anybody played it. I was oh, just no. sad. It was kind of barely optimized, to be honest, though. But, um, yeah. in any case, that's all made by, I think, Bandai Namco. So, mm -hmm. they're like mm -hmm. a really good, like, big toy company as well. So, like, they're. They're big out there. They're the ones that actually, like, help fund, like, the Dragon Balls and everything like that, so. Oh, and speaking of Dragon Balls. No, 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 we're, I'm. Well, I mean, I know. Man. Yeah, rest in peace and everything, if you guys know. Araki Toriyama, but, the yeah. legend himself, the one who made all the Dragon Balls, Dragon Quest. Uh, what else did he make? I completely forgot. Uh, but, yeah, he was big into the Dragon Quest and Dragon Ball, honestly, yeah. so. He... He was undergoing some kind of, um, I forgot what it was, but like it's more of the stress and mm. everything is kind of, I think, what caused it. Mm. Um, because he's he was really big out there, he's he's been a big influence by everything else like that, and he mostly did most of the work by himself when he was like starting this whole gig out. So, um, I can't really remember what the actual total cause of it though, but like it's some kind of like stress disorder kind of thing, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Respects out to the uh, to the man, the legend himself. I so, yeah. I... <laughs> but yeah. So, another cool thing though that I saw that was on the thing was actually what we were just talking about too. You know, um, the uh, um, Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. Final Fantasy fourteen, man. It's ah. on there. It yeah. is finally coming on to Xbox, Xbox after so many years, even though it's yeah. been on PlayStation since the PS3. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they're finally doing this. Like, because everybody mostly has an Xbox, and yeah. Final Fantasy needed to be on there. Because, like, 
no other Final Fantasy game is now coming to Xbox, and I think this is probably going to be the only Final Fantasy game that's going to be coming out to the Xbox. It's probably going to yeah. be the very last thing. Cause it's like PlayStation owns Square Enix and everything like that, which mm -hmm. makes all the Final Fantasy. So, um, kind of wild. Yeah. yeah, it is kind of wild, and they're about to do a big, huge update. Like Final Fantasy 14 is going to be having a big, huge like graphical update. Like they're even saying like. You need to upgrade like your graphic card, like your graphics card and everything like that. Um, Jeez. No, Sick. you don't have to get like the top of the line, at least yeah. over like 2000 series possibly, but yeah. you can't do like the 900 or anything like that anymore. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad they're doing that for the Xbox because the Xbox needed something like that. So that's wild. Yeah. I'm like my personal taste. Yeah. I'm glad that like more titles and stuff are coming to Xbox that were on previous other like platforms. One thing that I've been wanting to play since it came out that I've not been able to play is The Last of Us. It's PlayStation exclusive and I don't have a PlayStation. <laughs> play it on Steam. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I can get it on like, you know, like Steam and stuff, but I mean like for Xbox and stuff too, but I mean, yeah, I could probably either, nah, you know. Naughty Dog has only been bought on a PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you ain't gonna get anything. <laughs> yeah, I was like talking about like for at least for them to come over to Xbox, but I know nope. if they're bought out and... Nope, yeah, Sony is like, stingy like that, so... Nope. Sony, man. Why? I'm kidding. But no, Sony's yeah. a really good company. No, um, no, I know. Well, <laughs> their phones suck, their phones suck though, but like everything else has pretty much been great. <laughs> It's all on them phones, man. Like, what is what, what is this? You know, <laughs> like they're really good though. Like, okay, yeah. I've I've been more into the phone kind of tech kind of thing for about a year or so, and I'm thinking about getting the 16 Pro when it comes out for iPhone. Ooh. But, um, because yeah. I kind of want the smaller phone again. I kind of miss it, but I want a really good camera. But anyways, Sony <laughs> makes really good stuff. Like, entertainment wise, electronics, and everything, they're top of the line. Yeah, their phones. Ah, they're really good though don't get me wrong they're really good and they're like good production and everything like that but like they cost so damn much excuse me <laughs> they cost so much and like it yeah. really shouldn't be like that but, like ah. it's insane but iphone's the way to go sorry but <laughs> fuzzy yeah fuzzy's wanting me to come over to you know the iphone land you know can i give you two cents on that one real quick yeah um if you're in a, okay, if you're if you're a single person, just saying this out. I'm not yeah. trying to call not trying to call you people out because I'm single too now. But um <laughs> hey. But um <laughs> what should I say? If you're a single person, you can probably deal with just the Android phones or even the iPhones and, and everything like that. But like if you're like with a family or like with you're in a really good relationship or anything like that, yeah. Honestly, sure yeah, you. iPhones iPhone's the way to go, honestly. Mm -hmm. They have so much stuff like other like android apps you had to pay subscriptions for like your find mine everything like that that's all yeah. free on iphone everything like that yeah facetime's really good on it not saying like everybody yeah. uses snapchat and everything like that which is not too bad though but like yeah. the facetime and everything is actually kind of more superb yeah they are a little bit more expensive though on the phones but honestly it's kind of worth it i would say yeah. it's really worth it if you're doing like if you're a vlogger or video content you want to get an iphone yeah because they're their videos, the cameras, are okay. Video mm -hmm. quality, best thing out there right now for mobile devices. So, yeah, I mean, look at that then, because uh, me and Fuzzy are planning on getting on the same phone plan, and yeah, for vlogging, for instance, you know, I've been wanting to do more vlogging stuff, you know, going into the entertainment section of this podcast, <laughs> uh, video vlogs, man. I've been wanting to do some more vlogs. I have been posting more stuff to my Snapchat, even. You know, it's like. If people want to join the Snapchat, you know, I do have a public profile. You're welcome to join it if you guys really want to come join the Snapchat there. Because I've been starting to do, like, things on there exclusively. Like, you know, I've been wanting to do, like, the, uh, um, what do you call them? The, the Mr. Smiley dailies or something, you know? Like, little daily little vlogs that I do. And, like, uh, I go and do bingo and karaoke shows. And I've been having some, like, people that actually follow my community, some of my moderators now. Um, they actually get to, uh, you know, see some of the stuff behind the scenes. And I'm like, might as well just make this into something that is, like, an exclusive thing that people can, like, see behind the scenes on, you know. So, I think I'll do it on iPhone. And it'd be like, hey, you know, it'd be kind of cool, you know. But everyone's like, don't join the dark side. Everyone else is like, yes, join the dark side. We have cookies. <sighs> I hate that whole debate <laughs> and no, everything. I I'm, I'm just, yeah. It 
I know it's just the whole ecosystem thing. It's like completely different. Like Android, like you can connect to like literally almost anything. iPhone, you can, but it's like an extra step or two, which in retrospect, it's not too bad. It's mm. really not too bad at all. Like it was weird when I switched from the Samsung Galaxy S22 mm. to this um, 14 plus. Um, there are like little things like it was definitely different than like um, Android, but like give it a week or so you'll kind of get used to it like the only thing i think you might have trouble with um was like was like the bottom of the screen it had like the back button the home button everything like that Mm -hmm. uh this one it's all about swipe gestures Mm -hmm. uh there is a little button you can put like on the side of your screen or anything like that but it's a little annoying because it stays on there like till you take it off but Mm -hmm. um it's like just like give it a week or a month or so you'll get used to it um are you wanting a bigger phone for you or do you want the like the same size as like the one you have right now because i know the one you have so yeah i mean mine that i have now i mean it's like pretty small not like extremely small but i mean i wouldn't mind having like a decently sized phone as long as i can have like a clip that can like you know I- i'm one of those dudes and they always say hey look at the <laughs> the the dad figure there that's got his phone clipped to the side of his pant buckle thing whatever and i'm like yeah because it's very convenient <laughs> so <laughs> new type t he always gets me on that he's like man you you know like when he sees it he's like man what is this you look like your dad and i'm like yeah it's convenient <laughs> so i could just floop there's my phone i don't have to worry about putting it in my pockets i just clip it on you will find and become more and more just kind of like a dad figure kind of thing, you know? I'm kidding. But, I mean, yeah, size-wise, you know, does size matter? Oh, it matters. But, I mean, in this case, I mean, I guess it's kind of whatever, you know? I, I guess it's all to you. Like, when I switch over the big phone, I kind of now feel like I want the small factor again. Like, you'll have, like, a bit of I don't care about the screen size most of the time. Um, battery size, like, eh, I can probably, like, work around it, though. But, like, um... Mm. I I just now got to the like to the point of like my life like I kind of want the smaller phone now like I don't want to feel like I have like a like a decent like size tablet in my pocket. Mm, yeah, I like to have a bit <laughs> one of the smaller brand, but like I want to get like the good cameras and anything like that. Um, which the base iPhone, which they're all USB Cs now, which is great. But mm. um, I was about to say uh. I mean, honestly, perfectly for you, since I know you more, um, you could probably go buy with just the regular base iPhone 15 or 16 when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. They all, they're all 48 megapixel now, which is honestly great. They get all like the good features and anything. The only thing is just like, um, I don't think you can play like any, like the triple A games on there, which they only have like a few right now, but like, I think per specifically for you i think just the regular base iphone might be fine which is totally up to you yeah i'm not uh, totally up to you. yeah as far as gaming and stuff i do all my gaming elsewhere you know yeah I got a little phone apps that i game on it occasionally but it doesn't have to be like you know 4k yeah, no. graphics and <laughs> processing yeah, they're all really good right now so just yeah. honestly just like either the base iphone 15 or the 15 plus which mm-hmm. is the bit more bigger one like the one i have right now yeah. Um, you can go along with that, honestly. You really don't need the big stuff unless you're like vlogging like twenty four seven. You might want to go with the bigger phones. But, mm-hmm. Uh, I think just for specifically for you with all the features, I think maybe the base one should be just fine for you, man. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Then you guys can let us know in the comments or the you know reply section what you guys think. What do y'all want to have when it comes to like a phone or anything? You guys can let us know. We want to hear some different topics, too. Yeah, what all kind of features do you guys like on your guys' phone? So, like, what kind yeah. of phones do you have? What are the features you like on it? Yeah. Um, I want no hating, though, between both of the companies. No hating, though. <laughs> it was like, oh, man, that stuff. Don't do not do it. Don't listen to it. It's more of just kind of like you can be open about it. You can kind of be like, this is why I like it, you know, you know, and agree to disagree kind of thing like you know to each their own of whatever people want to have on their phones and stuff like that or devices you know um i'm gonna eventually though another topic for entertainment i want to eventually get a um the headset vr headset the uh goodness the ones you got 
Are you talking about like, the meta quest and all that? No, it's not the meta quest, but the freaking... Golly! <laughs> I can't get names out, man. I'm horrible with names. Um, wait, okay. The Valve Is Index. It... Ooh, wait. The headset. Yeah. Did Chad ever talk to you about that? His brother wants to sell it, yeah, and it's like... Is it like brand new? I have no idea. Um, I don't know for his one though. Um, yeah. Cause he didn't. I already told him I already have one because I already had the Valve Index and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, did he tell you how much is he offering or? About eight hundred. Mm, I was like, that's cause... about as much as a. I mean, I know that the actual like headsets and stuff are pretty good, like up there in price. I like, mean, the whole thing when I bought mine was like a grand. So like, I mean, you could probably yeah. like. You, well, since you're buying it from, like, a third party, which is, like, a friend, yeah. um, just cooperate. Just, like, just yeah. shoot him a number if you want or so. Yeah. I'm, I'm, like, looking on the market of different things and all that. But that, that let's just, like, say whenever I do get one, um, that is going to be, like, one of the next kind of, like, big purchases that I get is, like, an actual, like, good headset. So, like, when I'm, like, streaming on, like, VR chat or something like that, which I kind of want to get back into doing soon, is the mic. Because I use this mic for everything when it comes to like the actual um doing you know like my vr streams and all that i have to like position this thing it'll like you know i'll bump it so many times and stuff so i want to actually have a headset that like the mic on the headset is actually like really good does quality your mic not have one like it your does headset is it does you can't even see this back there but uh the mic on mine it, it's it's like you're talking in the tin can it's not even worth it that bad thing yeah i did do the headset that i have on here but it doesn't sound that much better and plus trying to go back and forth and trying to make sure that it's picking up that mic and not the valve in, or not the valve index but the HTC Vive mic this is the mm -hmm. standard now if I got the HTC Vive Pro headset you know it's between the two right you know the Pro headset uh, is actually like really good and then they get them like the Pro 2 or whatever but like the valve index microphone compared to both of them like you know I really like how the quality of the valve index one is so I'm like actually interested in that yeah, because you hear it out. You hear it out of mine. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I would definitely say though, since like it's been a while since we actually did upgrade your PC, I would say upgrade your PC before you actually do get oh, yeah. any of the latest, even the Valve Index as well. Oh yeah, uh, there's gonna be some upgrades. <laughs> well, specifically for you because you don't have much. You don't have like much Display Ports, and it does take a Display Port, not HDMI, a Display Port. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna be getting uh, new graphics cards. Like, I'm going to get, like, the whole shebang. Like, that's, like, obviously, yeah, when I get a headset, I'm going to have to upgrade stuff on my PC and stuff. But that's, like, the next big thing that I want to actually, like, get. Because I've already gotten, like, some stuff from, like, my generous people that's been donating and stuff. That money's actually going to go towards that kind of thing. So, I really appreciate you guys, too, as well. Twitch people, YouTube people, thank you guys so much for that, too, because that's going to help go, go towards that. Um, you know, and eventually, I can always get, like, a new camera and everything, too. And a whole lot of people has been asking me, too, like um what like i want to try doing this i want to start trying to do like you know things like you're doing and stuff and i always tell people if they want to do a podcast or whatever always like invest in a good mic first like the video doesn't have to be like superb you don't even have to have a video if you're like just kind of doing something if you want to do audio only you don't even have to have video so i would always recommend if you want to do podcasting or just videos in general mic is always the biggest thing because there's a lot of people that do videos and they don't even have cameras on that and they still are successful and they can eventually get a camera later on so I always start with a yeah. good decent mic you know i see that on my streams a lot i would say definitely the ones you can actually connect to a mixer like the mixers can be cheap nowadays too oh, yeah. so like if so you don't need like the latest like gold xor or anything like that just like mm -hmm. the ones we got which is like the scarlet um one they're actually not too bad for price though yeah i, I wouldn't say like fifty dollars there are some that is like fifty dollars but it's not really that great as though but yeah um yeah invest more in audio i think audio is probably the first thing you can do like you said like video can honestly become less if you really want yeah. to you can just do just plain just audio so yeah um yeah i agree with a 100 percent what you literally just said so yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyone that has any questions on it too like we can we can even have like discussions like actual podcast episodes on discussions on these type of things too. If you guys are like having questions about how to do podcasting, how to do YouTube or, streaming, all that or, stuff. Or start a Patreon for like an extra, like 
like a little extra bonus episode. So <laughs> start a Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah, the Patreon thing. I was even thinking about doing like uh, reaction videos, doing a Patreon thing of that. You know, I think that'd be kind of cool for special episodes. Yeah. I know you can do um, uh, special subscriber only episodes for on Spotify and YouTube. Oh okay. Yeah. I said I. I kind of want to go back into Spotify because I really like Spotify. I like like it, it discovers like better songs that I would personally like more, a little bit more better than Apple Music right now. But it's this the quality. I like good sounding quality, and yeah. a- Apple Music is like right there right now. I'm not saying yeah. Spotify is like that bad or anything like that, but if it gets like the You're on list- Spotify. You're on yeah, Spotify no, right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm talking about music wise though, but <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. if it gets if it gets lossless, which is like a new thing that it sounds more crisp. You can hear like every instrument a lot more better, like each one of them. It just sounds so much more better. Yeah. At, Spotify says they're gonna get it. Once they do, I will switch over to Spotify. Thank but you. right now, Apple Music is the king right now. So. Hey yo, hey yo. Well, alrighty, I think we have uh, covered the majority of everything on this thing. I think it's time for Would You Rather? I can, I'm kind of surprised because we barely talked any crap about the, the Xbox um, games that you showed. Yeah, so. We talked a little <laughs> bit about it. If you want to throw some stuff in there, man, I can. Uh, it was just, uh, the only thing interesting was just like the whole slide of the hand whatever it's called like it was like the yeah. stealth kind of like card game kind of like not really card game but it's like she throws cards and you use those like as your powers yeah that's the only thing that came interesting interest to me besides like Final Fantasy 14 I would love that on there too yeah but everything else it was eh, hit and miss so <laughs> I like it yeah. though we can go on to the thing now yeah um I was kind of looking up some stuff too I was like you know I didn't know if you had any other things that you wanted to talk about with that um um i mean since the last time i was on the podcast um there was a pokemon presents that actually did come out it's like their own like nintendo direct is pokemon presents mm-hmm. um all the stuff on there i really don't care except for the very last thing personally as a pokemon fan it's a new legends game it's literally just a brand new game they're taking a whole year off of releasing any pokemon game because they release a pokemon game like every year yeah um but this time they're taking a break, thank God, so they can actually like develop more better games. And I'm hoping for the next one to come out, which is Legends Za or ZA, whatever it's called. Um, people kept making like pizza and memes on that one, but um, I am really, really, I'm really looking forward to that one. I think that's the only thing I can honestly think about gaming wise. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go into the Would You Rather Not. Hey yo, and since we talked a little bit about gaming on this one. We could, I would like to hear what you guys want to have for the Would You Rather questions, too. I, I've mentioned this in the last episode, too. Um, but it has been a week since I've actually been in, able to edit and, you know, post the actual video. So, I mean, these are going to be a little bit closer together. So, we'd love to hear from that one and this one of, like, what you guys want to uh, now, to hear. Let's set some down rules on this one for people that want to ask, like, a question about it. With, like, uh, like oh. you know, like, uh, like if people like want to add their own, would you rather not to? Yeah. For us to answer, we're gonna yeah. have to put some, like, some rules on that thing. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. Like you know, make sure that it's something that's like, not gonna get us in trouble, <laughs> not gonna get us demonetized, something that's gonna be like family friendly, something fun. You know, like I mean, now, you can have you fun, can go, but yeah, you can go deep, but. If it does not go with the Twitch guy, not Twitch guidelines, uh, any of the other guidelines we had to post the, these podcasts on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll, we'll rip it up and throw you in the fire, so. It has to be appropriate. That's the only thing, yeah. Biggest thing. Has to be appropriate, depending on, like, what it is, you know. At, okay, at least 13 and up. At least ages 13 up kind of question, <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't want no baby questions now. No, no baby questions. Well, I got no some cool questions. ones here, man. I think uh, I think these are Wait pretty tough. Wait on me, man. Wait on me. Let's hear it. I will let. I will ask the questions. You will answer them in your own most honest opinion, and I will answer after you. So the first one is. It's a pretty long one. Would you rather have loads of time to play games, but only be able to buy two games a year? That's the first one. That's that's a long one too. Or. Be able to buy loads of games, but never have much time to play them. 
feel I rather go with the second one. I feel like I'm kind of already <laughs> in that loop right now, so like oh, I rather really? would, I rather would stick that one because like for a full gear for us humans, of course. Um, there's only so much you can literally do. No, okay, if it's an MMO or something like that, mm -hmm. I go with the first one. But yeah, there's not a lot of them that's actually been made right now. But like um, out of that question. I probably would stick with the third. I would stick with the second one. That's my yeah. opinion. Being able you, to uh, buy loads of yep. games of whenever how much time to play. I feel that too. I'm kind of in the same way. If I had like for the first one, if I had loads of time to play a game, but only buy like like it, it, it says like to buy two games a year. Um, that would have to be something that has like a good story, something that I want to spend more time on, specifically wise, you know. And in the last one, we mentioned about like, you know, longer games or shorter games, you know, and you had to pick one or the other kind of thing. Um, for me, it's like, you know, if it's a good story, I would love to like, I love like an ending portion of it. You know, if it's something that's long and drawn out type thing, you know, I want to be able to like hit like an actual eventually an end goal, you know. So being able, I, I do agree with the second one, being able to have loads of games but never have much time to play them. That's kind of like how I am. I try to play them when I can, but if I can like play it and like beat it, beat it in a, in a, in a, like if it's a short amount of time to beat it, you know? Um, but like, yeah, being able to have access to the games, you know, even if I don't have a whole lot of time to play them, I like that, you know? So that was Plus the- you get like more unlimited, one. like you get unlimited more on the second one so like you don't feel so bored like if you want to stick with like a specific genre which i yeah. know a lot of people can do like that but like i like to be a little bit diverse sometimes so oh yeah that's a big one too you know <laughs> all right what is the all next right. one man next one in your opinion what is the worst game of all time that you have played it's a big one it's a tough one because I've played a lot of games. <laughs> of all time. No, okay. It has to be the one that we actually did play. Yeah. So Not like one that you've all... seen or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It has to be something you actually did play. Yeah. Um, okay. There is one because it literally has the little impossible, like, you can't beat it at all. Like, there's only, like, I think only, like, 1% of the world actually did beat it. And that's not really too awful much, though. But, um... It was an old G Nintendo DS game called Sands of Destruction. It was a JRPG kind of game, but they unbalanced it, the crap out of it. You can't even beat the game. You literally cannot beat oh, the game no. at all. And I tried so much, so much time on that thing. I put like 80 hours into it. I still cannot beat it. So I Man. was like, screw it. Threw it away. I did throw it away. Oh, I traded it, I traded yeah, it traded in on that in, one. Yeah. Uh, ah. But do you have one, man? Man, I'm trying to think. I'm like... I want to say there has been a game that I'm just like, I could not play this. It's like terrible, like, like not even worth it. Halo Guardians. Thing. Well, I would, I mean, it's, <laughs> 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 I'm not going to like this so much on Halo because I love the franchise. I love the series of like, you Halo. on five so bad. But I know it's like, cause I, I, it just was one of those games where it's just like, I just couldn't finish it, you know, but it's not so much where I'll be like, I'll throw it in the trash kind of thing you know um but it was just one that just didn't capture my attention as the other ones and i just was like i just can't see myself finishing so i would have to put that one as yeah you know probably like halo 5 you know um or halo legends whatever you know and then when infinite came back out i was like hey yo okay so i was really hoping that infinite would at least be a little bit better and and it actually did make some promises for me that i really liked you know the, um that, that was kept but like i think though overall like halo 2 halo 3 those are probably like yeah those are the those are the big ones the story wise and all that stuff that the memories that came with them yeah, definitely three really good the goat. three is definitely <laughs> the goat. hey yo oh all right you ready what for you this man? next one Oof. yeah let's wait for this next one man Ooh. Would you give up video games for life and receive five hundred thousand dollars in cash, or would you refuse the money? I refuse. Ooh, yeah. Because like, I grew up on video games, honestly, and that was pretty much what gives me out my happy times, man. Yeah. Now, if I had to give that up, 
Uh, I mean, which I kind of did from that last X. But um, yeah, it kind of felt. It felt like part of me was like my soul was gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like, the money would have been good though. I could have had a pretty good life and everything like that. But like, money doesn't buy a happiness. Yep. Money does not buy a happiness. That's, That's true. It's mo- moments though, but like. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a deep question, which I actually do like. It like gets you to think, though. Like, yeah, it's pretty wild. I, I told think... you, you said deep. <laughs> it is deep, though, and yeah. I like deep stuff like this. But like, it's more of a yes and no. It's yeah. literally all the scenario where you're in. But like at the moment yeah. right now, I don't want to give it up. Um, video games make me happy, so yeah, yeah. And I'm the same way too. I'm like, I would, I would refuse, and not into a sense where it's like money like you said money doesn't buy happiness but i want to be able to like live and be okay you know like i don't have to have exactly five hundred thousand dollars i want to have money like the money that i make i want to be able to like be happy with like i don't have to be a millionaire i don't have to be this and this and this because money you know this and that but as long as i have money that like i can like take care of my family with like i'm perfectly fine you know it doesn't have to be five hundred thousand dollars but like games everyone like you always see those things where people say it's just a game and then they show you it's like a montage thing and it's like showing all these parts and games that's like really hard hitting and like hits you in the feels you know i i look at it as it's more than just a game like for different things depending on the game too there's some games out there that's just like (laughs) kind of wild kind of fun you know i get you know just to kind of like turn off your brain just have a good time but there's a lot of games out there that's like a movie or something that really kind of just reflects to you in a way it like helps changes like you know your outlook on certain things it'll help motivate you you know like there are stuff in there that would uh you know would be able to like you know help out with real life stuff too so i think you know having games in your life will help out with certain things and they do say that some games actually do help like you know with your brain and like you know help you think and help you like have day everyday stuff you know work with you know kind of thing so i thought that was kind of cool though I would say though, now if the game industry like becomes a lot more lackluster for me, like not wanting to play anything for like I would say like years to come, I probably would have given up at that point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's probably the only thing like that will draw me back if like if I actually do pick choice number one and mm-hmm. like the gaming, like if the game industry has been like always oh, my microtransactions and everything like that, it's something that's like no passion, no fun into it. Yeah. yeah, I would I would, I would, give it video games at that point, so. Yeah, because that's, like, where whenever it becomes something that's, like, that's all you do, right? Like, it takes over your life in a way. That could be a very negative way. You Like, you want to be able to balance it, like you said. Like, you know, you have something that, like, you want to be able to do, you know, like, do a job or do whatever you are. Or maybe gaming is your job, like streamers or whatever, you know. Um, to have that balance there, you know, but to not let it be something that controls you in a sense, you know? So, yeah, yeah, I think that's a pretty big one too. Um, I'm trying to find some other, like, would you rather questions? If you have any that you want to ask me, you know, feel free to throw them out there. I do have one actually. Let's hear it then. Let's hear it. Okay. Would you rather play only games that challenge you mentally or play only games that challenge you physically? Mm. Mentally. You want to do mentally for gaming? For gaming, yeah. Physically, I know, like, it's good because, I mean, I can always go to the gym, but also, like, if you do it physically, I feel like I would get wore out faster. Mentally, yeah, I can, like, be like, yeah, if I'm mentally wearing myself out, you know, versus, like, physically wearing myself out, then I won't be able to game at all, but also with mentally, too. But it's like, (laughs) I guess it just depends on how you look at it. I would choose like, physically on this one. Yeah, um, yeah. More because like everything else around us, like nowadays, um, is more mentally straining, and playing games physically helps you like de-stress yourself like that. But you also get to have fun as well. Because I'm assuming it's like to the games you want to play physically. Yeah. So like VR game or something like that, or like like something you yeah, it's more like a VR kind of game, but like. Yeah. more smooth of like whatever you want to play like whatever genre you want to do i'd rather do physically just because like yeah you just do more and it's just not mentally draining like i do like everything else in your life so yeah yeah 
I mean, that's a pretty good one too. You know, it's like, um, if you do honestly too physically, it's like at least you know when to like take a break or something like you know if you're physically doing something versus like mentally you yeah. may not know when to like stop. You know, so I could see that though. Physically, probably could be like a better way of doing it too. You know. And um, yeah, that's just more of a mental, like you're not mentally. Uh, that's just more of a personal thing. Whatever you do around your life, it all did, it all has to involve around in that question. So right, right. So we did ask this on the last one. I'm curious about seeing uh, which one this would be for you. So the question is, if you could have any video game character as your best friend, who would it be? Any video game character. How best deep friend. of a best friend we're talking about? <laughs> it just says best friend. I mean, you can make it more than that if you wanted to, but just like being like how we're best friends, friends, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll yeah. just do just like friend wise. Nothing beyond more than friends. Okay. Ah. Uh... <sighs> there it goes. Not counting Pokemon because Sinclair Pokemon's are always going to be your friend on that one. So not counting Pokemon. I mean, you could if you wanted. If you really was like, I want a Pokemon as my best friend. How about something they can actually like talk back to you and everything like that? Yeah. Which I know people could say like Mewtwo and everything else like that, but like, no. Um, uh -huh. they can actually like, I guess humanoid character possibly. Um, a lot of people would probably say like Replica, which is like an AI companion that talks back with you but that's more of an app than a game just to clarify that too you know if you if you if you wanted to go with ai you can, and this if it let's if it was like cortana from like halo or something she's a game character she would be kind of like somebody that could talk about you but like if you're thinking about like one of the things where you have like those ai companions that can talk with you i look at that more as an app i will uh, exclude disc those um, i got one yeah. Let's say yours first. I know you've already answered this, but like, say yours first, and I'll try to think of mine. This person right here. I'll say Cortana. Miku. <laughs> Miku would be my okay. best friend. <laughs> she is in a game, and she's a Vocaloid. So I was like, well. Do you know I'm Japanese? She can teach me Japanese. <laughs> That's why I want her to be my best friend. <laughs> But yes, she has to learn. Well, I know there's like Miku English and everything like yeah. that. So I guess we can probably teach you on that one. So she could be like my little Japanese assistant person that like, teaches me how to do Japanese like language and like takes me around Japan, Japan, and I can go through the internet with her. You know, that'd be cool surfing the internet. So I was like, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh... And it was a tough one too. I'm not just saying this because I'm like, oh, Miku everywhere. I had, I was really thinking about Master Chief too. Master Chief's really cool. I want okay. I do have one. It is from an anime, not from me to be right, from an anime. Um, mm. something to be having a best friend that will always like be by your side and actually helping you. You both work with each other. That's my mentality at this one. I want to say Tofani from Finland Saga or Tofani. Uh, I can't even pronounce his name. Um, I don't know. I just like his character, and he would actually like always be with you whenever you need him and like um i don't know he's just more of a best friend vibe i think there's another thing i can really give out right now nice well, video good. game wise video game wise um i would go with shulk from xenoblade so oh nice because he's always been like the most positive kind of person honestly yeah so i actually drew it i enjoy his character so nice I mean, that's a lot to think about, too. Like, as far as game characters, I'm like, man, I could have so many best friends. But I was like, man, I don't know. It's just, like, if I had time to sit down and think of all the games that I had that I would be like, I want that game character as my best friend. I mean, I could probably come up with, like, 50 different people. But I was just like, for the fun of it, you know, I like Miku. She's cool. She teach me stuff. She can take me through the internet and, you know, come out of people's, you know, screens and be like hey what are you from the ring <laughs> no <laughs> no you the girl she from serves, the ring <laughs> i was reading the uh the book and she comes through someone's like tell tell our computer screen and she she's just like yo what's up so it's like you know because she's like she's like virtual or whatever you know so it's just like <laughs> you're the girl from the ring the girl from the ring <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but well, man. I, 
that's gonna oh. be all for this week man yeah that's pretty good i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget the live stream though when we actually do this live we would love to have you guys come out hang out with us it'd be lots and lots of fun and uh don't forget to have a cup for us with us i got uh, my cup now? right here don't forget to have a cup for us oh i think you can have it with us <laughs> like a like, cup of coffee yeah that's like, like, like you said thing. cuts instead of cup cut the, like Cut it's like a cut, like, like a cut of coffee. Like, no, like a cup. Like cut. It sounds it's like you like, said cut. Oh no, cup. I think it cut out. I don't know. <laughs> like I, I don't hear the put. All you need is love and coffee. That's what we we gotta we gotta go by this now. Love and coffee. That's all we need today, man. <laughs> you know what I just thought about? What's that? From that last uh, question, technically Demon Slayer is in a game i could like have like freaking shinobu freaking tanjiro or nezuko Wait, or zanetsu as my best friend bro i didn't even think about that too what was the actual question again what did exactly <laughs> what it say again it's like if you could have any video game character as your best friend oh but i was just game. thinking about okay that. yeah i didn't realize that was video game character um yeah i still go to shulk so yeah that's me i was just thinking about that i was just like yeah hey yo well this yo. has been Coffee talk with Smiley, where the chat is always brewing. I like how I came up with that too. Pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> where the chat is always <laughs> brewing. I'm gonna make that into a slogan. I'm gonna make that into a T-shirt or something. That'd be cool. So thank you guys so much for coming and joining, and we'd love to hear what your responses are for next week for the next conversation that we have. We'd love to have you guys come and join us on that too. Let us know if you're listening or watching on Spotify. Let us know in the poll section there. We have a poll for all of the stuff and some discussion points. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already yet. Super, super thanks to you guys and especially to the members. If you guys are being able to watch this uh, a whole 24 hours early for members, thank you so much for your support. So we'll see you guys yeah. in the next one. Bye. Signing off. Bye.